Hi, my name is Liz Tupp, and I'm here to talk to you about modified glucagon molecules. Glucagon is a peptide hormone that's used in the emergency treatment of hypoglycemia, usually in diabetic patients. Uh, current products that are available to treat these hypoglycemic incidents look like this. Uh, they're called glucagon rescue kits, and glucagon is available here as a solid powder that has to be reconstituted using the solution in these syringes before it can be administered to patients. This is obviously inconvenient in the days that we have EpiPens where we can treat emergency events almost instantly. The fact that we have to do this reconstitution is very inconvenient. And one of the reasons that we have to do this is that glucagon itself is poorly soluble at neutral pH, and it also rapidly fibrillates to form this ugly mess of self-associated glucagon that really isn't going to have any therapeutic effects for anyone. So as a result of the inconvenience of these glucagon re rescue kits, that itself depends on the instability of this molecule, glucagon is underutilized, and many diabetic patients in hypoglycemic crisis instead simply go to the emergency room to have their problem dealt with. And so there is a, then an unmet need for a stable solution form of glucagon that would enable us to have much more convenient rescue kits. My group has developed these phosphate ester prodrugs of glucagon. Uh, these phosphorylated glucagon derivatives have a number of very desirable properties. First, they're soluble at neutral pH, up to a concentration of 10 mg per mil. A native glucagon isn't soluble at neutral pH at all. And in fact, the glucagon rescue kit solutions resolubilize glucagon at acidic pH, which is not very comfortable on injection. These products show no fibrillation for up to 30 days when they're stored at room temperature. I'm just sitting on the lab bench, which is a big improvement over glucagon itself. And they're also rapidly reconverted to glucagon by phosphatase enzymes in the body. They're obviously not present in the formulation, but once it hits the body, uh, the phosphatase enzymes rapidly reconvert uh, to glucagon itself. The reason all of this works is because of the charge on the phosphate group. Um, phosphate carries a charge of minus two that improves the solubility at neutral pH, and the charge repulsion keeps the glucagon molecules from coming together. Most importantly, though, in rats, uh, the phosphoglucagon show blood glucose elevation that's comparable to glucagon itself. So you can see the blue line here shows blood glucose elevation from uh, glucagon reconstituted at acidic pH. The red and the black lines show phosphoglucagons uh, tracking almost exactly the glucagon molecule, and they've been reconstituted at, uh, or they're in solution at neutral pH. Um, we have one patent issued in January of 2017. The work was sponsored by Purdue and by the NIH, so we have no third-party obligations. Thank you.